What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine. Today we're going to be talking Sunday faves and this week I have one unfortunate nay. Before we begin, I first wanted to say a very, very happy Mother's Day to all you mamas out there. Hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful Mother's Day with your loved ones. In case you guys are new here, consider subscribing as well as don't forget to hit that little bell notification. Turn on those post notifications to be notified of new uploads. If you guys don't hit that little bell, you most likely will not see my videos in your subscription feed. So with that being said, let's jump right into my faves of the week. I first wanted to start off with a lifestyle favorite from the brand Gear Beast. And this essentially is a cell phone lanyard. So it goes around your neck and it has a latch that you just place around these two holes and it locks in place. It's made of a silicone material. It also is very stretchy. It's also very durable. It fits both smaller phones as well as larger phones. So like a Samsung, it still also fits like an iPhone 7 Plus. My son has like an older, I think it's iPhone 5. It comes in different colors. They have black, gray, clear. You know, if you're running errands, there's nothing more convenient than just kind of throwing this over your neck, placing maybe your card, ID, like some cash, in here and you have everything all in one. I can't even tell you how many times I put my phone down on one of the shelves when I'm at the store. Thankfully I always remember I end up going back for it. If you're going to an amusement park, I've had instances where I'd put it just like in the pocket of my shorts or my jeans or I would put it inside my backpack and then every time somebody would call I'd have to kind of dig for it. It was like a big nuisance but this I really think it's so convenient. You know you have it on hand and the nice thing was that on certain certain rides we were able to bring it because we had it around our neck. To have everything just all in one and to have it around your neck so at least you know that you have it on you, I think it is such a great product. I'm going to actually link them down below including a coupon code where you guys can receive some money off your entire purchase. In Hawaiian Tropics and this is the Silk Hydration After Sun Weightless Feels As If It's Barely On. It's the Coconut Papaya Fragrance. So this gives you 24 hours of moisturization formula with high Hydrating ribbons and aloe helps preserve your tan. This saved me from peeling. The previous Friday we went to the beach and then after that I've been out in the sun practically almost every single day. I always made sure to use sunscreen on the face as well as on the body. Ended up getting a really nice tan. It's fast absorbing into the skin and it has a really nice cooling sensation because of the aloe vera. You can definitely smell the sweet coconut and papaya fragrance which I am a really huge fan of. All about this fragrance. It works for me, preserves my tan, and it prevents me from peeling. Physician's formula and this is the Butter Collection palette. So the one that I picked up is in the shade medium deep. It also comes in another shade. I believe it's a light medium, but I found that this is like the perfect uh, set for me at the moment. In here you receive a butter bronzer, a butter blush, two butter highlighters, as well as the Butter Paradise fragrance, which smells absolutely amazing. And this whole set, it's limited edition. You can purchase it at your local Walmart store. You can also purchase this off of the Physician's Formula website, which is a few dollars more. I believe it's almost $15. But at Walmart, it's $11, I think it's like $11.89, something like that. It's super, super affordable. I was watching Miss Lola Lynn here on YouTube. I was watching her weekly favorites video and she had talked about this and I was just like, you know what? I really want to try this out because I personally don't own any physician's formula products in my makeup collection at all. Let's talk about the palette. First, we have the Butter Bronzer in Deep Bronze which gives you that absolutely beautiful glow. It's not glitter, just gives you like this beautiful kind of glowy bronze look, which I am wearing on the parameters of my face. It just kind of now balances out with the rest of my body, at least in my opinion. Now we also have the blush in Vintage Rouge, uh, which I am wearing also as well. Vintage Rouge is an okay blush. It performs not as smoothly as the bronzer. I really love the way how the bronzer performs because it just glides onto the skin effortlessly. Blush is okay in my opinion. It's not the best. Then we have this highlighter in a full moon. It's like this really pretty kind of golden highlight. I'm wearing it on the high points of the cheeks. First time I used the highlighter, I wanted to pop it like right into the inner eye corners. So I took my pinky and then I applied it onto this area and I was just blown away when I felt the texture and just how 
buttery smooth this highlighter feels. It is absolutely just amazing. Now I see why they call it the butter line. The highlighter in Galactic, again, it has that really buttery feel to it, but this is definitely more on the cooler tone. It does have a bit more glitter in a way. It's definitely not my favorite from this collection. And then of course we have the limited edition fragrance in Butter Paradise. This is exactly how I would describe summer. It's got that sweet, really tropical, all about those summer scents. I will say though that the lasting power, it's not very strong because it is an eau de toilette. So it's more like a spritz. It lasts for a good few hours, but I'm glad that it's in a small glass bottle so you can throw it in your purse and then just reapply it throughout the day. This whole set for $11 and some change, I think is such a great deal. Last but not the least is my Nay of the Week. And unfortunately it is going to the Maybelline Lemonade Craze eyeshadow palette. This includes 12 different eyeshadows and has a bit of like a lemon fragrance to it so that is like the main reason why I wanted to pick it up. I am wearing the eyeshadows today on the eyes. I also really appreciate that they included this shade called Sweet Tea. This is a transition shade. Now I have been playing around with this palette the whole week and I have to say I was really disappointed with the way how this eyeshadow palette performs. Number one is that the shadows really aren't pigmented. You definitely have to go back into the palette to really build up up the color even just for the transition to really get good color payoff especially with this shade called sugar coated the best way is to really spritz your brush and then pick up some of the shadow and then pa pack it on to the lid even still with doing that I found that the shadows weren't as pigmented as I hoped that they were. I really have to build up the shadow to at least be able to see it on the lid. At least that's what I experienced. I tried to make this palette work, but even though it's about $11.99, $11 $12 around that price point, I think there are better drugstore eyeshadow palettes out there that perform way better. I really like the idea. I love the whole name, the Lemonade Craze palette. I love how it's scented, but the point really is the quality of the shadows, and that's where I feel like this palette failed for me. So that's everything I wanted to share with you for my Sunday faves and my one unfortunate nay. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new uploads. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys check out the other videos right over here. You might enjoy them as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.